wait to see it. I think we chose the wrong way to Yeah, go. we did. We got we're, we're going against the green here. Yeah, we are. <laughs> figuring out the car a little bit, but um, yeah, it was okay. He was pretty slow in practice for him, but he was pretty good in practice too. And we're in nutrition. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you can go now, I'll talk. <laughs> can I get a hammer nutrition deal as well? Yeah, here. They sent you this bottle. <laughs> All right, yeah, practice. One and two is done. Uh, we were pretty slow in practice one, practice two, I think we were actually decent. Antonio did a qualifying sim at the end. Uh, I think we're still about six tenths off, so we've got some time to find, but I think other than that, the car setup development's gone well throughout the practices. The car's much easier to drive. I think the big name of the game is traffic, traffic management. Uh, I think in the GT3, GTD class, it's extremely hard to pass with ABS, even if you come up on a driver who's two seconds off. Uh, it's impossible to pass him if he doesn't want you to go by. So that part's frustrating. Uh, certain LMP3s and LMP2s are going to be a little bit of a weapon come race day. But yeah, I think it's a 10 hour race. A lot's going to happen. So I think that we'll just have to stay out of trouble for most of it and have a good car for the end. I know it's an autograph session. Hello? Yeah. Okay, bye. It was not an emergency. Huh? It was not an emergency. Could have waited. Keep between the ditches. Never heard that before. You say keep it between the ditches. Give him hell tomorrow then. Thank you. Uh, I thought he said keep it out of the ditches. I think he said to you. Yeah, what happened last year. Thank you, yours as How's well. How's going today? Uh, it's good. I mean, I just heard that Nikki's using 50 grams of hair gel. So we'll have to talk with the engineers about that to offset the weight in the car left to right to get the weight distribution correct because that's a decent amount of weight. You know you share an Airbnb every once in a while. Do you share hair products as well? No, he's very picky with his hair products. Very expensive stuff. He actually started sending stuff to my house in America. He's too cheap to send it to himself in the Netherlands. <laughs> Yeah, we know. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Good Sebring here. All the stories that you want to know. Yeah, one of the best things about autograph sessions with Antonio is that we'll sign all the posters. And then Ryan will roll them and they'll get rubber banded. So the people can just walk through, grab it and go. But a lot of people like to, hello. A lot of people like to hold on to their own poster as it goes down the line, like it's their personal one and they're watching it get signed. And Antonio really doesn't like when people do that. So he'll actually physically take it from their hands and say, your poster is at the end. That's the only time he really speaks, is when he's angry. We don't go that far here, Samir. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> What's the best picture you've ever taken? I haven't taken it yet. Really? That's deep. 
That's deep. That's deep. Think about that. That's deep. <laughs> Have you, is that always your answer? Yeah. Who gave you that answer? I don't know. I don't remember. Online? Yeah, but it's true though. Like I've never, no, 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 no creative sense. should ever be happy with what they've done before. Like there's you're no always, perfect lap. You're always chasing. You. There's no perfect, no perfect lap. lap. Have you have you brought a perfect lap yet? I have. Okay. Uh, where was it? No, I have. <laughs> what was the second closest? Uh, second perfect closest lap? perfect lap that I've done? I don't know. Uh, a Lamar qualifying lap? I've never qualified. Lamar. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> we're gonna try to get some gossip here. Can we go for some gossip? Hey, Richard. We've heard some rumors. When was the announcement? Monday? Monday. Monday. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, JDC. JDC? What's going on with JDC? Why? That's who I raced. Don't worry about that. Could you stop filming? This is coming out after Monday. After the announcement. <laughs> I do know what you're talking about, and yes, I know the answer. I didn't say you do that. <laughs> My head just moved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, you gotta delete all that. You can't. It's definitely gonna be some kind of shenanigan. All of you can all of you should be okay for the rest of your life, or three times a year you poop in your pants in a public situation. Wait, no, you, you don't know what no, you, That doesn't make any sense. Repeat what you're trying to ask. You have good BOP for the rest but of your life. But you have to, but you... Or... Or wait. But, but you poop yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. Yeah. exactly. Uh, wait, how, how have we been asking this question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that way wrong. Yeah, you got it wrong. Definitely optional. <laughs> <You've got Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. Not a bad BOP for the rest of your life. Wait, how have we been asking this question? No, it makes sense. The way I get what you're saying, you but you said or. You can either have and. the good BOP or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you... Yeah. No, I'm not not so, so if you so if you so if you pick option two, you have bad BOP. Yeah, yeah. I'd poop my pants for sure. So you take three poops a year. I saw yeah. three, right? Quick clean. Three? three, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you do it's it until you're like three years old, right? So three or four years old, anyway. But you would be doing it now, you every year. Ready that's fine. For the that's fine. Yeah. As long as you're prepared. You don't, you don't know when it's Depends coming. Where you, you don't know when it's coming. Yeah, but that's, uh, okay. that's it the problem. Could be it could be right now. <laughs> then you gotta get in the car. I'd be all right. But you'd good, you'd have good good deal. Yeah. I'd go for that. I'd rather yeah, have yeah. a smelly car. And I think you'd take the ship into the front. Yeah. Adapt and thrive. Yeah. You just, <laughs> like, are you saying are you saying it happens to you three times a year unexpectedly? Yeah, you know, you, you got definitely got good deal. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 all right. So guys. Get in the car. Yeah, it could be like you're about to do a pit stop, you're about to change tires. In the middle of dinner. Yeah. It could be on your first date. Is it only can it only happen during a race? No, no. Time any time of you year, don't any time. Don't know. Well, I'll, 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 I'll still do it. Yeah, I'll still, yeah, I'll still do it. But you're gonna, you're gonna have better opportunity to win. Yeah, yeah. Three times is not that bad. Yeah. Yeah, just take, carry some spare clothes in your backpack. Only Brian Sutter, but he says he's be close to retirement. And he, <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to see the people's face in the one he pooped in his pants. <laughs> so, I mean, if three times it's worth it. Like, you know, if it's if you said it's like you have to happen every day, then like maybe. Yeah. But three times is not that big of a yeah, risk. You just never know. Right? Yeah, yeah, you could be fine. at home chilling. On the yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's worth the risk, I think. It's a committed team. Yeah. Committed team. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stint of my life. Um, had some contact in the middle of it after one of the restarts of the nine car. I think both of us were just being a little overly aggressive. Had some contact and both got flats from it. So that cycled us all the way back. I think we got a little bit of damage. Toe seemed a little off. The steering's a little off. But once we're in the back, we're kind of just saving fuel. It was all we could do. It's so stupidly hard to pass with ABS. Uh, just getting stuck behind people. Uh, so yeah, basically trying to save fuel, jump guys in the pits. So I think we jumped a couple there. So. We're back on cycle at least with everyone, but yeah, I think we'll see now. And Nikki's still to see kind of where the car is with the damage, and yeah, hopefully it's not too bad, and we can kind of fight from there and see where we are, you know, come sunset. Definitely not the day we wanted. It seemed like 
once we lost track position, it was difficult to make ground. Uh, our car seemed to work pretty well out front, but once we were kind of stuck behind guys, it was pretty frustrating. So not the day we wanted. Uh, we took some risks at the end there with fuel strategy. It didn't pay off, but it was our only real shot to get kind of back in the race. So not the race we wanted, not the year we wanted, kind of going to GTD Pro this year, but winning the Sebring 12 hour was obviously the highlight. We learned a lot, so hopefully we can build from that moving on for the future. As for the off season, I've got my Ironman in four weeks, so I'll be training for that. We've got some testing coming up, so yeah, it's gonna be a busy one. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have some more YouTube videos in the near future, keep you entertained. And yeah, that's it. Okay, have a nice week. on the street. Yeah. yeah I, would, I would go for Mercedes. I did one race with him last year. It was fantastic. Though. Unbelievable. He's a factory driver for Hyundai, Corvette, and BMW. But he picked a Mercedes. <laughs> I think it's because you want another factory deal. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I drove one race with him last year. It was unbelievable.